I love surprising my friends. And today I'm at my friend Jenny's house. And she doesn't know we're here. And I'm doing a little dinner for her and Jenny loves flowers. Today, instead of just getting a bouquet of flowers to decorate the dining table, I'm taking an inexpensive bouquet and doing something a little bit differently with it to decorate the whole space. And I wanted to give you the ideas because anybody can do this. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. What we're gonna need, simple, simple ingredients. I've got a couple of bunches of just inexpensive flowers. I'm using carnations. I have a purple and a pink, any color that you like. I have some greens, a little bit of boxwood that I snip just from outside. You can use any kind of green. Oh, David, I snipped a little rosemary too. I love the way it smells. I love rosemary. Oh, it smells so good. Yes, and I have some floral tape. We're gonna need a little bit of floral tape. You could use any tape. Don't have to have this floral tape. We just happen to have it. And then an 18 gauge wire. So this is like an 18 gauge, 25 pound wire. So it's a little thicker, pliable. And we cut it into what? Like a 12 inch, about a 12 to 15 inch. inch. Yeah. Yeah, 12 lengths or 12 to 15 inches. All right, let's go. This could not be easier. Maggie, Maggie could do this. This is so easy that Maggie could do this. All we're doing first is snipping some of our flowers just at taking the heads of the flowers off. David, we're not leaving any kind of like longer green. It's okay. long enough as it is. And it just keeps that bud together. That's the main thing. And then we're just going to Thread this through the middle of the flower. See that? Threading it through the middle in any kind of pattern. You could do all one color. This is where you have fun. Like whatever you want to do. I mean, already. This is so pretty, pretty already. You don't want it to be all purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, pink. You could use like little um, sweetheart roses on this too. All right, that's it. Now we're just gonna make this into a small circle. So I'm just twisting it around. David, here's where we're gonna come in and kind of cover up where we've twisted that wire. I'm gonna add like a little bit of rosemary and the boxwood together. And I'm gonna take my floral tape. Again, if you didn't have floral tape, don't worry about it. I'm gonna take those greens on working in a twisting pattern. Once I figured out how to use floral tape, it was life changing. <laughs> David never pulled it. Like with the floral tape, you need to pull and then use it or pull it as you're using it. If you just twist it the way it is, it doesn't stick on itself. See where we are there? Like mm -hmm. cute, right? We're gonna take some greens going up the other way. It's like taking the idea of a flower crown and Really, we're kind of making a flower bracelet, but we're not going to use it. Well, maybe we could use it as a bracelet. We could use it as a bracelet. How cute would this be instead of a corsage, like a wrist corsage? Ooh. For your daughter for prom? Or just a Wednesday. Go for it. You're just a Wednesday. <laughs> That's so it. The magic is in the cool stuff we're gonna do with that. Look how adorable it is. And what do we do that in? This is real time, like boom, boom, boom. And now we're gonna do a bunch of them. So we just made the sweetest tiny wreaths and I'm gonna show you the four ways that I use them on Jenny's table. These are just several ideas and I know that you will have so many more. Number one, I love this idea. There's always tons of water bottles on the table and I love the idea of just adding some of your little tiny wreaths to your water bottles and they stay on. They're so tight on there. When you pour the water, it's never going to come off. Idea number two, back of a chair. This seems a little bridal showery, but I love it if for any kind of little ladies lunch, tying it on the back of a chair. It's just a little sweet thing. Look at this one, David. Instead of just a single little tiny wreath, I tied on two. Love that. That's I would so love cute. if this went all the way down to the floor. Super cute. Like, just keep them going. Oh, speaking of, look at this. Five jewelry. Like how cute is that? Everybody wears a little bracelet. And then check this idea out. 
We made a little garland with them all. So this is the same idea of taking, instead of doing one wreath, we did so many, and we made a little garland out of it. You could string this anywhere. This could be down the middle of your table, even. Ooh. Like, why have it hanging when you could have it down the middle of the table? It could lead your guests to their table. So here's the takeaway. Instead of just doing one arrangement or one read, why not do multiples? Like doing tiny things and using them in unique ways. Like doing multiples, multiples, multiples of the same thing. I just think it adds more drama and makes it so special. And Jenny is gonna love it.